Hey, what's up? Welcome to another video from Adobe's Learn From The Pro series. My name is Chris Trini for Crisco Art, which is a filmmaking company here in LA, as well as a channel here on YouTube where we dive into filmmaking stuff. And I'm hoping to bring some of the techniques and things inside of Premiere Pro that I'm most excited about that I use most often onto this series. So welcome back if you've joined us for the previous videos where we talked about sound design and even tricks to edit faster and captions and all that good stuff. But in this video, we are talking about color grading, color correction. And this is super exciting because it is one of those creative steps in your edit that can really give the voice to, to the look of your project and that can also elevate it to uh, make it feel more professional, make it feel more cinematic, which is the most overused term on the internet, but hey, there is some truth to it and color grading is a big piece of, of achieving that. So let's jump into Premiere and let's take a look at how to color correct and color grade your footage. This is just the introduction and we're gonna look at a few simple tools in Premiere Pro that actually can get you a long ways into uh, correcting footage or color correcting. And right off the bat, let's actually make a distinction because those two terms get intermixed a lot and they're very different things. So color correction is, as the name suggests, you're just correcting the, the maybe the white balance or the level of saturation, or maybe just, you know, a certain contrast level that certain clips, maybe from different cameras or different moments in the day could have some slight differences. And that is the last thing that you want in your edit because that's gonna break the flow right away. It's gonna be very jarring and it's also gonna make your project feel amateurish. So before getting into the color grade, which is more of the overall look, the style that you're giving, the feeling, uh, and all those other more esoteric parts of the visuals that we can play with and extrapolate later on, what you wanna start with is a blank canvas that is consistent all the way through. So you wanna make sure that you do a first pass where you are correcting all the clips so that they belong together, they can flow into each other without having some drastic or subtle changes which can be just as distracting and then once all that process is done you can move into the color grade and really give your piece the voice in terms of colors that you picture of course with all the advancements that premiere pro has had they have also tackled these issues and and the color correction process which can be very tedious and they've simplified that so much so the very first feature that we're going to look at is the match color feature which match color literally lets you select a clip and match it to another clip that you can also select. And so for this, we're gonna go under the color wheels and match section of Lumetri Color, and we're gonna click on this comparison view button here. And so we wanna correct this kind of greenish clip of the sequence to its more natural looking counterpart in the following clip. And so with the comparison view open, I can simply go in its own timeline and kind of scrub through until I find the clip that I want to reference to match the color. And once I place it, once I find it in that viewport, all I have to do is hit apply match. And by just clicking that button, Premiere essentially will calibrate both clips to match. So it will look at the color information from the clip on the left and apply those colors and look to the clip on the right. And just like that, now you have two clips that match very closely. So beyond that, what we have been using, what I kind of showed briefly before, is the Lumetri panel. This is where you can make uh, further adjustments, uh, whether it's in color correction or also color grading, which is an effect that you can just drag and drop into your clips, or you can access through a workspace in Premiere, the color workspace. And this is a much more visually pleasing way to use the Lumetri effect in Premiere. And here you have all kinds of controls, such as, you know, correcting maybe the color temperature, the white balance of your footage, uh, making all kinds of different adjustments like I do in all these videos, such as lifting the shadows a little bit just to you know, get a little bit more fill uh, in my face and a little bit more detail in the shadows. If you have a overexposed area like this one, I mean, this is pretty much recoverable, but if you have a slightly overexposed sky, you can bring that down with the highlights adjustment and so on and so forth. You can really just explore what every slider and what every feature of the Lumetri color does, but it's really powerful when doing color correction, when tweaking some colors in your shot and also adding your overall color grading. And also another 
big thing that is a pretty big deal that I should mention is that you can import LUTs uh, through the Lumetri color panel. And so that is super useful. And there is an option to add it right at the top. But another tip here is that I like to add it on the creative section since that creative section when you import a LUT there, it also gives you the intensity slider, which allows you to kind of adjust how intense the adjustments made from this LUT are onto your footage. Now, one last thing that I will mention on this panel is this HSL secondary adjustments that you can do right at the bottom here. And this is really powerful because you can very easily get the origin teal look. You can separate certain colors and only affect certain color ranges of your footage. And you can do this by simply selecting a color in these color buttons or even, you know, using the color picker tool and I can select the colors or the shades of my skin tone so that I am just isolating that. I can also use this color picker plus tool here and you can select all of the range. So make sure you have all of the shade of the skin tone. And now if we want to preserve just the skin tones and we want to affect the environment and everything else, we can invert our selection here. And by the way, I can look at what I'm selecting by this uh, color gray checkbox option. And here I can essentially affect everything else but my skin tones. So we can do things like the, you know, orange and teal look or just affecting the colors of your environment and, you know, changing the adjustments there and you can get some really, really cool color grading looks uh, just like that. And of course, there's so much more to cover, so I definitely encourage you to check out all the different sliders and play around and mess with them uh, and, and just see what everything does. So Lumetri Color, really powerful for anything color grading, color correcting in Premiere. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video on color correction and color grading. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a like and share it with a friend that you think might need some color grading tips. Uh, there's going to be a lot more coming on this channel from Adobe, so definitely make sure to subscribe for more Premiere Pro tips. If you want to dig deeper into filmmaking overall, visual effects, uh, sound, lighting, and all that good stuff, definitely check out my channel if you want to over at ChrisCoArt. But with that being said, I hope I will see you in the next video of this series, which is going to be all about making your edits flow, making them smooth and enjoyable to watch, and a few little tricks to, uh, to do so. So definitely don't want to miss that one. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. My name is Chris Trini and I'll see you next time.